Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about discriminants of quadratic equations. What a discriminant is in the quadratic equation is we just take the part that falls underneath the square root of the quadratic formula. And so if you need to review quadratic formula, definitely check out my video on specifically on quadratic formula. But we're just pulling out that one part that falls underneath the square root, b squared minus 4 times a times c. And that's called the discriminant of quadratic equations. So by plugging in our a, b, and c values into this discriminant, we can actually tell the number of solutions and the type of solution without even having to solve the equation. Let's look at this. If you put in b squared minus 4 times a times c, and you put that in and solve it, and you get a number that is greater than 0, that means you would have two real solutions. Now, whenever you have two real solutions, you have to take it one step further. And you have to say, okay, is the discriminant, the answer that you get here, is it a perfect square? And if it is, then your answers are two rational real solutions. Now, if your answer here is not a perfect square, then you have two irrational real solutions. So within those two real solutions, you kind of have two sub questions that you need to, or one sub question that you need to ask, is it a perfect square or not? Um, okay, so what if you did your discriminant and you simplified your discriminant and it was less than zero, so it was a negative number? Then your answer would be two imaginary complex solutions. So that would be an imaginary number situation. All right, what if you simplified your discriminant and it equaled zero? It wasn't greater than, wasn't less than, it was equal to zero. Then you have one rational real solution, and those would be your perfect square trinomials. Now we did a whole video where we talked about completing the square and along with that perfect square trinomials, those would only have one rational real solution. So let's look at a couple, let's look at three examples. Let's find the discriminant and let's say what type of solution that it would have. So for this first example, x squared minus 13x minus 48 equals 0. So I'm going to follow this. b squared, remember that it, the um, standard quadratic form is ax squared plus bx plus c. So which one is with the x squared? That's my a. And my a in this case, there's nothing there. So that means it's an understood 1. a equals 1. Okay, now what's my b? Which one is just with the x to the first power, right? That would be negative 13. So b is negative 13, and c is negative 48. That's just my constant. So let's plug these in to this b squared minus 4 times ac. So b would be negative 13 squared right you have to have to have to use parentheses if you do not use parentheses when you square a negative it will be wrong you must use parentheses minus 4 times a 1 times c negative 48 okay now I'm just gonna save time I'm just gonna put this right in the calculator so here we go negative 13 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 48. Let's see what we get. We get 361. So now I have 361. So I would ask myself, so that's the discriminant. The discriminant is 361. Is 361 greater than zero, less than zero, or equal to zero? Well, hopefully you're thinking, well, it's definitely greater than zero. Right? So, so far we're in this column right here, two real solutions. But I've got to be a little more specific. I want to know are they rational or irrational? So I would have to ask myself, is 361 a perfect square? Well, let's find out. Square root of 361. 
and I get a whole number, 19. Because this is a perfect square, it's 19, this is two rational real solutions. That's how many answers I would have. Two rational real solutions. Let's look here. Let's try another one. So for this one, my A would be 5, right? My B is 2, and my C is negative 2. So let's plug these into my discriminant, B squared minus 4 times AC. So B is 2 squared minus 4 times A, which is 5, times C, which is negative 2. Now some of you may be saying, well, you didn't put parentheses there. Right, well, 2 is not negative here. We only have to be super cautious when that 13, um, like the 13 that was negative. 2 is not negative. I don't have to, I could put parentheses. Won't be wrong, but I don't have to. All right, let's bring out the calculator. Let's simplify this discriminant. 2 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 2. I get 44. Okay, so first question we ask, is 44 greater than zero, less than zero, or equal to zero? Well, it's definitely greater than, right? 44 is bigger than zero. So, so far we're still in this column, two real solutions. Now we need to know, is it rational or irrational? So we ask ourselves, is 44 a perfect square? Let's find out. Square root of 44. I get a really long decimal, not a whole number. Because I get a decimal, it is not a perfect square. So it is not a perfect square. So that means I have two irrational real solutions. Solutions. Let's look at one more. So for this one, let's see, our A would be 4, our B is 12, and our C is 9. Let's plug them into our discriminant. B squared, 12 squared, minus 4, times A, A is 4, times C, 9. Let's put it into our calculator to simplify. 12 squared minus 4, times 4 times 9 and I get 0. So my next question is, is 0 greater than 0, less than 0, or equal to 0? Well 0 obviously equals 0, right? So that's going to put us in this column down here. So my answer will have one rational real solution. And if I went back and looked at this, notice how I had a perfect square of 4, x squared, right? Perfect square there, perfect square of 9, and the four, the square root of 4, which would be 2, times the square root of 9, which would be 3, 6 times 2 is 12. So that is a perfect square trinomial. If you're confused by what I just said and what I did, you may want to go back and check the video on completing the square where I talked about perfect square trinomials. So some of you may have recognized that right at the beginning and said, that's a perfect square trinomial, therefore I know it has one rational real solution. If you didn't pick up on it, that's okay. Follow the discriminant steps and you'll get to the same answer, one rational real solution, okay? Remember that if you had one that was less than zero, aka it was a negative number, then you'd have two imaginary complex solutions. Okay, here's one for you guys to try. So negative 10 n squared minus n, so remember there's an understood negative one there, negative one n, minus 9 equals 0. I want you to use your discriminant, b squared minus 4 times a times c, and I want you to tell me what is the number of solutions and what type of solution. 
I will post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.